Now an update to a story we've been following since March. Dr. Joseph Dettori, also known as Dr. Deep Sea, just broke the record for the longest time spent living underwater. He spent 100 days below the surface, smashing the previous record of 73 days, which was set back in 2014. And he did it all to find out how underwater life affects the human body. Dr. Joseph Dettori is back with us to tell us more about it. Also, the Sammy Hagar of oceanographers. Yes, he is. <laughs> I copyrighted I that, so don't go they making don't your T-shirts yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how are you feeling? Oh, you know, I actually feel really good. Uh, there's a little bit of sort of a letdown depression sort of a thing going on, but that's kind of normal sort of, hey, we did this thing and now what's next? But I'm back at work and I'm back to fixing traumatic brain injury, which is what I've always done. And uh, I'm really excited about helping more people. So talk about what actually happened to your body. A couple of things did happen after you took measurements and stuff when you got out of the out of uh, from underwater. Right. So far, still preliminary at this point, not completed uh, science, but so far, all of my inflammatory markers are cut in half. I've reduced in size by about a half, almost three quarters of an inch. Uh, so that's that's a compression sort of a thing. Uh, but uh, my my stress is down. My, uh, you, you know, my cholesterol is still down, which is great. Uh, and, and things are moving along. Uh, you know, the, the psychological and psychosocial ramifications are still yet to be determined. Those will be happening as we continue testing. Yeah. You, go ahead. I, I was going to say, when you talk about that, so did you feel, did, when you were talking about depression and, and mood swings, is that because you miss being underwater, or what do you think it is? Yeah, uh, I, I think it's a bit of a... Uh, you know, I can't, I can't equate to postpartum depression, but, yeah. you know, something like that. Like, we did this great thing, and now it's over, and it's like, okay, now it's back to the regular grind. Oh, that's right. You've let your business lapse for 100 days. Oh, Somebody yeah. else was trying to help me. you got to come back in. you got to, oh, your registration in your car is up. Oh, by oh, the way, yeah. you got to, <laughs> normal so, stuff. Yeah, it's just like, like oh, hitting you man. between the eyes. Yeah. Welcome back to the real world. Yeah. What, what are the real world applications, or what do you think they will be from the research? <laughs> Well, we're talking about living in an isolated, confined, extreme environment, just like the one that's going to get us from here to Mars, right? So we are only halfway to the point of getting to Mars. It's a 200-day trip to Mars. I'm just trying to get some of that data, start collecting some of that stuff. When people live in these small environments for long periods of time, what can be done and what are the issues? For instance, I just got out of my root canal because on day 12, I cracked a tooth oh. on my back floor. So on day 12, Twelve, I suffered for 88 days of pain, and then they scheduled my root canal as soon as I got back out. But, wow. you know, it's that kind of thing, like, oh, that's right. Even I, who's a scientist, I didn't even consider that being a possibility. Wow. So now it's, okay, on expeditions, no more popcorn. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you remember Tom Hanks in Castaway? I think he used an ice skate and knocked that tooth right out. I mean, just an idea for next time. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I understand, you know, it's Killing not me. science, but, you know, yeah. just throwing that out. Is there something you do differently next time? Is there something you want, would bring along for more fun or... 100%. I will tell you that I fit myself through a 36-inch opening every day, like 10 times a day. I would have done a lot more yoga beforehand uh, uh, than I did now because I'm still, like, coming out of that and going, yeah. going through all the trials and tribulations. Yeah, yeah. But, the payoff is great. Some lady walked up to me on the street as I was taking a walk after my uh, after my mission and said, you inspired me that if you could stay underwater for 100 days, I could stay on a diet for 30 days. And I was like, holy wow. mackerel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Little stuff. Well, and he's still, I got to tell you, your, your enthusiasm is still infectious. It's great to talk to you. <laughs> uh, glad you're doing well. You can check out more at drdeepsea.com and follow along on his social media. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. Love you guys. Bye-bye. You're great.